Alright, hello, citizens of the Nigerverse. It is Nigerverse here once again, and uh, sorry I was away for uh, a little while, about a week or so. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, my office chair broke in my room, so I'm waiting on a new one in the mail. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, I've changed locations, and uh, we're going to get back into the swing of things. Don't worry, you guys are still going to get your uh, reviews. Um, uh, I have another Royal Rumble review that I'm actually going to uh, talk about after this, and then I'm going to do my two that were supposed to be for the week. You guys will still get those, even if it uh, go, even if it bleeds into February. And then uh, also uh, the crime analysis for this month uh, next week as well. Uh, I still haven't decided who I'm doing, but I'll likely have a uh, decision by uh, probably uh, Sunday or so, but uh, nonetheless, let's get right into this review, which we are starting a new saga of movies, sort of. Um, it's more so just a trilogy of movies. We are going to be looking at the Batman Dark Knight trilogy, a trilogy that really um, made, that in a lot of people's eyes, made superhero movies cool again. Now, Batman, not a superhero, he's a uh, a detective, he's a hero, he doesn't have any superpowers, but um, for a lot of people, this is what got them back into superhero movies and uh, seemed to be the blueprint for a lot of what they uh, would do with characters in general when it comes to movies. Um, and we're starting off with Batman Begins. So, um, for starters, as always, I'm not a professional, not a professional movie reviewer, just a man who enjoys a good time, and for the most part, I had a pretty good time with this movie. Not gonna lie, um, with all the hype that the Dark Knight trilogy gets, um, I didn't end up enjoying, uh, I still enjoyed this movie for the most part, but not as much as I thought I would. Uh, and it's probably because, you know, it's the first movie, so, um, we're still, well, um, we're still kinda getting used to stuff, and this is a new take on Batman by director Christopher Nolan. Um, so this is a new take, new, uh, direction and everything. Uh, very, um, uh, very different from uh, some of the other stuff. That this one, uh, this Batman takes itself uh, quite a bit more seriously. He, uh, this uh, Christopher does uh, Christopher Nolan's interpretation of Batman, and um, it's one of the things that really, really made Christian Bale, uh, the actor, rise to prominence. And uh, what is this movie? So, uh, without further ado. Uh, let's not dilly dally anymore. Let's get right into it. So, uh, for those of you who have seen these reviews before already, you kind of already know how this works. For those of you who haven't, pretty much I'm going to be talking about what I liked and what I disliked about the movie. And um, what I liked is um, the gritty, dark uh, Batman and everything. Uh, not quite as campy as like other stuff. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the last Batman movie. Uh, before this was Batman and Robin, which, um, yeah, um, uh, but, yeah, so now how that it's shifted to this Batman, um, I think a lot of people probably appreciate it a bit more, because Batman, definitely a man with, uh, very grim stories, uh, definitely gone through a lot, um, and, um, they, they establish stuff really, really, really well, they give him a motive, uh, uh, the Wayne family, he, um, the Wayne family didn't doing so much for Gotham just to be gunned down, so, uh, Bruce Wayne slash Batman wants to, um, wants to clean up the city, wants to, um, defend the city and everything and bring it back to prominence, um, uh, he receives training from the League of Assassins, which introduced us to Ra's al Ghul, which I think Liam Neeson did a pretty good job as Ra's al Ghul, um, there are some aspects of Ra's al Ghul I wasn't really a fan of, but we'll get into. Uh, but uh, we also have uh, Scarecrow he oh, here, a.k.a. Uh, Jonathan Crane, which uh, he definitely did a really, really good job of the actor, which um, I forget his name, but then again, I am very, very bad with names. But and unless it's someone like I really, really know, like Liam Neeson, but, um, but uh, he did a really... A really good job as uh, Jonathan Crane slash Scarecrow, uh, very handsome man. But um, uh, uh, yeah, so Scarecrow is in here. Uh, uh, we got Odd Batman and everything, hang doing some Batman stuff. Uh, 
uh, all of his gadgets and weaponry and stuff. We got Lucius Fox this time around, which I think uh, is one of those cases where he was introduced for this movie, and then he became a character in the comics. Uh, I could be wrong about that. In fact, I probably am, so let me know if I am in the comments below. Oh, um, but uh, Lucius Fox, uh, of course, played by, played by uh, Morgan Freeman. Uh, of course, or as Alfred is here. Here, uh, lo love interest is here. Batman's had quite a few love interests over the years. Um, uh, lo uh, some action, some pretty cool stuff. Of um, yeah, so oh, uh, really good stuff for the most part. And I think it's a really good beginning uh, to show this new take on Batman. Uh, this uh, grittier, more serious take on Batman. And and uh, I think Christopher Nolan did a pretty good job. Uh, for the most part, or because in terms of what I didn't really like about the movie, uh, there was a few things. There was quite a few things. For starters, the Rachel Ghoul fake fakeout where you think it's this guy who's Rachel Ghoul, but no, it's actually Liam Neeson's character. That's actually Rachel Ghoul. Um, I feel like the twist kind of fell flat. At um, I don't think it had the impact that uh Christopher Nolan was going for, or um, it was an interesting little twist and I. And the only reason I didn't really see it coming um, is because this is my first time seeing the movie. But, um, but yeah, um, I think the twist does kind of fall flat. I'm like, oh, okay, so it's a twist. So it actually wasn't uh, him. And so the other guy just straight up dies. He's <laughs> and. Uh, Batman thinks he killed, uh, or Bruce Wayne, I'm, I'm making a change between the two, uh, Bruce Wayne thinks he killed Ra's al Ghul, but, um, but in actuality, he, uh, he killed the guy who's pretending to be Ra's al Ghul, so, um, and then the real Ra's al Ghul was actually saved by Batman, and he's essentially rewarded by Ra's al Ghul trying to beat up Batman, <laughs> and, uh, uh, but, I feel like the fake out was, mm, uh, it, it was what it was, um, 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 I'm surprised, also with Rachel Ghoul's lore, that the Lazarus Pit wasn't here. Uh, it's probably going to be in the later trilogy, um, yeah, I'm guessing, but uh, no mention of the Lazarus Pit, hit, at least uh, not one I could find. Um, uh, another thing was some of the, like, uh, there were some flashback sequences and stuff. Of uh, I feel like those were a bit weird and shot and kind of, like, jarringly, where it was, like, very weird cuts. Uh, and there was some weird cuts and uh, effects in the movie by hey, uh, Christopher Nolan here, and it's one of those things where you can kind of appreciate where it's uh, what he's going for, and you can kind of see the vision a little bit, like oh okay, I see what he was trying to do here, but um, I feel like it doesn't really work out as well as he would have intended. Uh, the next thing is that I feel like the movie is very, like, latter half heavy. Like, the movie starts out kind of slow, oh, as Bruce Wayne, um, loses his parents, grows up to become the Batman, and then things pick up when he becomes Batman. That's when all the, um, uh, that's when all the really, really cool stuff happens. There was some cool stuff, like, uh, Bruce Wayne training and everything, but, um, I feel like it takes a, it takes a little bit to get to the actual Batman stuff up in the movie he, and the movie about uh two hours and 20 minutes if i'm not mistaken uh but uh, it takes a little bit to actually get to the batman stuff and uh i feel like the movie kind of suffers a little bit because of it it um but i, I get it, they had to establish him and everything but uh, i wish it was a little more batman and and finally um i do appreciate them trying to give both scarecrow and rachel ghoul time to shine uh and um but I feel like Scarecrow kind of takes a back seat and could have been used a lot more in this movie. But he had to essentially share the spotlight with Rachel Ghoul. Uh, apparently, Scarecrow is going to get more time to shine in the uh, Dark Knight trilogy, as some people have said. But um, I do wish he got some more time to shine here. So, what I would have done is either not have Scarecrow at all and just focus on Rachel Ghoul as the villain and everything. Um, ha having. Him have connections with like Carmine Falcone, uh, Carmine Carmine Falcone, I should say. Um, a bit of an interesting twist. Uh, I, I did forget to mention uh, Carmine Falcone is in this uh, in the movie. He, um, uh, having him work with uh, Falcone, he I think uh, could have worked out, or uh, just uh, leave Rachel Ghoul Ghoul dead uh, at least for the movie, and then the latter half focused on Scarecrow. 
oh, um, just so both can get time shine and then uh, Rachel Ghoul at the end putting the Lazarus Pit and brought back to life. Uh, uh, but that's just me. He um, still had a pretty good time for the most part or with this movie, and I can't wait to see where the Dark Knight trilogy goes from here. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video so you can see as soon as it drops. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, did you like, dislike the movie? Did you like, dislike my review of the movie? Are you excited for me covering the Dark Knight trilogy? Uh, never really seen these movies, unfortunately, growing up. Uh, uh, because, mostly because my parents growing up were kind of strict and uh, the, these movies especially with the Dark Knight uh, have some um, some uh, yay moments but um, can't wait to see them and can't wait to see how Heath Ledger does as Joker I heard he's really really solid and a fantastic Joker I can't wait to see it and I can't wait to get further into the Dark Knight trilogy but uh, nevertheless thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys later peace